Hello, this is Oracle Ball here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make the basic Electro House style bases. Um, here's two examples. I made two bases to kind of demonstrate different ways you can go about doing this. So uh, here's the first one. <laughs> And here's the second one. All right, uh, now let's talk about this base. Um, well, to make these uh, style of Electro House bases, um, what they basically are are saw waves and post-processing uh most of it's just a saw wave um, i done a little bit of stuff here with the one i made in harmer i gave it some let's bring the harbor back and i can uh, some panning let's give it some stereo field i mess with the pitch choose how much release you want i put the face here because it just sounded right you can move it uh see what you like i like it right there uh, and then I distorted it without distortion. Distortion, just awesome. Uh, I can turn the harmonizer on. I had the harmonizer on for just to mess around. Uh, some extra harmonics to beef it up. And the post processing for this harmony is just an EQ. A uh, big, big part of the Electro House basses is the tone that you get after you EQ it. Because uh, without tone, this is just what it sounds like without the EQ. And you see if the EQ really shapes the tone of the sound. Um, the reason why I made the EQ like this is because it's too mid heavy. So I did brought it down in around the 500, 600 hertz area. Uh, the sub is overpowering, so I kind of got a ramp. I, I didn't completely high pass it and put a separate sub under it. You could do that, but I wanted to like retain the original sound sub so i just kind of made it lower and bring it up around 100 hertz where the bass is more prominent and i mono the bass just so mono bass is uh what you want in your tracks because if you don't have a mono bass and it has a stereo field it gets muddier and it just doesn't sound right um, you can really tell with a sub if you have a subwoofer you can really tell but um, it's always important to keep your low end and mono like on the kicks the subs and most of your bases that just have low frequencies uh, the higher you go up the more stereo separation you can have so you can see the mids it kind of gave it some the highs and push a little more um, sometimes it'll be vice versa. It's up to your ear which one you want more uh, stereo separation, but most of the times the highs the most, the mids, on the middle and the lows, uh, more mono. All right. uh, so this is that sound. I can recreate it after I show you the one I made of 3X OSC. All this for 3X OSC is a saw wave being post process. Uh, what we have here. So, uh, there's some things I have on here that are just out of taste. I put a chorus on it before distortion. Just uh, color it and give it stereo separation. Without it, just... Kind of, oh, I just get rid of the reverb too. You can tell it's mono. And yeah, the chorus gets stereo and it gives it some nice uh, color to it. Uh, let's turn all the effects off here. So I add the cor chorus, and then I put on a wave shaper just to saturate a little bit. It's just distortion. And then I add an overdrive for some taste. The overdrive uh, kind of gives it that nice, I want to say guitar amp tone. Um, it's hard to describe the sound, but I just kind of messed with the settings until I liked it. You can push stuff. And again, the EQ, it's the same story. Bring down the super subs. Uh, kind of gave, brought it off the uh, bass. Brought down the mids, a little bit of the highs. And then I added a reverb to kind of give it some more texture. You can change anything here to your liking. And 
after that, Maximus. Again, mono with the sub. And stereo separation. And I can do this. Saturated. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, and yeah. That's how you make a basic Electro House bass. And uh, if you want to see how to make one from scratch, you can kind of understand my process. I'll make one here for you. But if you understand it, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching. And now I'm going to make one with Harmer and 3XOSD so you can see what I did. I'm just going to copy this MIDI for the bass line I made just for this video really fast. I can do a playlist. All right. So this is basically how you make a electro house bass. You start off with Harmer, it's your default sound, it's a saw wave. Down in the bass level. Uh, distortion. Rubber's good. Lock's good. Just use logs to be different. What I did here is I went to the Unis Musim pitch thickness window, which which is this knob's window, and I told it to go from the value it is at top and go down really fast. To kind of give it an interesting tone, a nice attack at the beginning. Um, and really, electro house bass is really simple. You can also get more. All up to you. Electro House bass is just basically a saw wave and with distortion and um, whatever else you do to it to make it your own. Uh, let's call this Saw Bass 3. And then give it some more distortion. Doesn't need it. We can try an overdrive, the blood overdrive. I really like the overdrive on it. It just has like a guitar tone to me. I don't know how else to explain it, but I like it. Let's start off with the high pass. Bring back the lower it's just kind of power. It hurts. You got that nice tone on it. Let's uh, hear it with this quick drum loop. It's almost there, but needs compression. Uh, bring turn down the uh, delay, fully mono low end. Bring back the release and attack tight a bit. Uh, you don't want to do it a lot because it'll. Uh, the way the attack and release work is by the oscillation of the incoming waveform. And the lower the frequency, the longer it takes to oscillate for whatever frequencies are there. And if you have the release time go faster, then it can oscillate. It can add some stuff you probably don't want. Maybe you do want it if you're going to go for that. Uh, I Not good at explaining this but somebody who's good at explaining this kind of stuff is seamless are and if you don't know who he is you should go check him out he has amazing tutorials uh, so back to the saw Bass. Mids. give it some stereo highs and maybe some reverb to give this And that's how I make a saw bass. 
Harper, a one way can go about it. You can take this and go in a million different ways about it. And 3XOSC is really easy because it's really, it's just a saw wave and all post-processing. You could add white noise. Let's uh, do this. Make a new pattern for 3XOSC. Put in a piano roll. There we go. Add a little white noise. White noise is optional. It helps just bring out all the frequencies and the sound because it really adds to the high end. Gives it that crispness. Um, just a tiny bit. You can adjust this to, any, to your liking. I prefer just a little bit. And we'll start with some saturation. Add an overdrive. I really like the overdrive. Set it to whatever you like. No. Alright. EQ. Gave it the tone like before. This is all preference. You could have more mids. I prefer the big old scoop in the mids. Just gives it that wider tone, in my opinion. I think it just sounds better. And it'll fit better in the mix, giving it more room for uh, other things that you could have going on at the same time. Pads, arps, leads that might fit and that frequency range. Uh, make a default. Mono the sub. Stereo separation. I'll mess the tax release. And I'm just doing this really fast. I'm not going to go into like actually bringing it out. Well, I could. But it's just more or less quick getting it done. You can also go in here and move the bands to different frequency ranges to compress those frequencies. It's all up to you. But um, anyway, those are basic ways you can make Electro House bass. Maybe this gives you ideas. I hope it helps. Um, comment suggestions of other kind of sound design tutorials you like. I just started this. This is my first one. Comment on ways I can improve. I hope this made sense. If you have any questions, please ask me. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like. If you dislike, dislike. Uh, yeah, hope this helps. And suggestions, anything, just leave in the comments.